Okay, welcome to another video. I am the Starman. Now, I'm actually in my garden uh, for this video because if you saw my last video about all this trouble we've got with the uh, coronavirus, um, you'll know that here in the UK we are currently under a lockdown. Although it's not like um, it's not a really harsh lockdown to be quite honest. I mean, I could go out now if I wanted to and go to photograph some stars somewhere away from here if I wanted to but to be honest I don't really feel like doing that really because um, quite a lot of people are a little bit funny about people going out if it's not essential and that's the government's advice is don't go out for anything that isn't essential so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to that advice we can go out to the shops and we can go out for a walk and stuff like that, you know, so it's not too bad. But I think going out with a camera somewhere, um, I don't know, I think I'm just going to stay here and, and see what we can see from, from the garden. Now, the sun went down, um, getting on for an hour ago now, and we've, we've actually got dusk. We've got a nice twilight sky up there. I can see Venus over there. I'll show you Venus in a little while. But what is going to happen is that... Um, we're going to have a couple of passes of the ISS, the International Space Station, tonight. And um, it's, it's, uh, it look, if you've ever seen it go across the sky, it looks like a bright star, a very bright star. And it, and it comes across the sky, usually from the southwestern sky, and it moves across, all the way across, and it can go right across the sky to the other side. And then it disappears over the horizon on the other side. Now it's going to go over twice. Now the first pass is interesting because that's going to happen in about 20 minutes. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to film it, just a video of it, so you can see that. And then when the next one comes over, which will be an hour, an hour and a half or so later, because that's how long it takes it to go around the, the, the Earth, I'll take a picture of it. I'll take a long exposure. Um, on the second pass, the ISS will actually disappear into the shadow of the Earth. Um, after it passes the constellation of Orion. So if I can get a photograph of that, a long exposure of the ISS passing through the constellation of Orion and then fading out as it goes past because it's then moved into the Earth's shadow, I think that that will make quite a nice little picture. But anyway, for now, I'm just going to show you what I can see from my garden. Let's have a little look around. Right, OK, so let's have a little look around. So here I am in the garden and let's... Uh, have a look into the sky. You can see there's a street light over there. This is uh, a bit of a problem when I'm I'm in the garden. I've also got a street light over there. So like I say, it's not and, and over here as well. So I've got three street lights all shining in from all angles, which isn't really ideal. And I've also got these telegraph wires as well, which are all over the place. Telegraph wires. I've got the telegraph pole there. So it's not really the best for taking pictures or stargazing really but there are some it's not too bad there are some clear patches I've got a nice clear sky over there that's towards the northwest uh, but if we look up here we're kind of looking a little bit you know west southwest here we can see this bright object in the sky there and that's Venus Earth's evil twin so it's about the same size as Earth and um, it's closer to the sun and it's very very bright and you can't miss it a lot of people think that it's a star but that is a planet now venus at the moment is at its furthest distance this side of the sun um, now what's going to happen is over the next uh, month or so it's going to come towards us but it's not going to look like it's coming towards us it's actually going to move down so it's going to get further down now, as the year goes on, it's going to keep going down and down until it goes in front of the sun from where we are. So we're not going to be able to see it. And what will happen then is if we flip round and then if you get up early in the morning, you'll actually see it pop up in the morning. So it'll then become a morning star. So at the moment, uh, Venus is what they call an, the evening star. So when it flips round and goes round the other side of the, the sun, it then becomes a morning star. So it's an inferior planet, you see. So it's inside of our orbit, so that's why it does that. So anyway, that's Venus. So so I'm gonna wait now, and then let's wait for the ISS to come over, and then we'll film that. 
so let's do that then. Right, okay, so I'm now in position and I'm now waiting for the ISS to come over. I'm just trying to gauge roughly where it's going to be. I'm um, hoping that it's going to be somewhere down here. It might take a while before we see it, before it gets up high enough, before we can see it. Now over here I can see Orion. I'm not sure if it shows up on the screen. Sort of to the right of the street light, upper right. We've got the constellation of Orion. Now the ISS is going to cross right over the top of Orion. I think we might have something over here. I think it's over there. Yes, we've got it over here. So if you look at Venus there, the, the ISS is over here. I'm not sure if it's going to show up. It's not very bright at the moment, probably because it's quite low down, but it will brighten as it comes higher up. Um, what I'm going to do is just try and zoom in on it a little bit if I can. Hopefully we can see it. Not sure if you can see that. Uh, So there's a bright speck, you can see it quite easily, it's just whether it, it'll show up on the camera, I'm not sure if it's going to show up on this. Hopefully you can see it, it's rising up and I have the telegraph pole here and that's where Orion, Orion is behind the telegraph pole. It's actually going to go into Orion now. Right, here we go. Hope you can see this. Yeah. Oh, it's just past Betelgeuse. The bright star Betelgeuse. It just missed it. It's now going behind the telegraph pole. Yeah, that's the International Space Station. That little speck there. Yeah, it's getting really high up now. I hope I'm keeping my camera on it because I can hardly see it on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I think I've got it there. There it is. Oh, it's really high up. I'm straining myself now to keep it in the frame. To, to keep my, my, uh, my hands up. It's crossing right over. Now, remember, on the next pass, this is going to pass right over towards the east. On the next one, it's going to be quite a lot lower down and it's going to actually disappear into the shadow of the Earth um, after it goes through Orion. Now that would make a really, really good shot. So I'm going to try and think of a way in which I can get a good shot of that from where I am now. Orion is going to be in a slightly different place by that time as well. So I'm going to see if I can get a good shot lined up for that. So there it is. It's passing over now. Now I'm going to wait, wait for it to come round again and uh, I'll get it on the next pass and get a really nice photograph. So let's do that then. Right, okay, so I just wanted to show you this um, website that I used to find the ISS and you can also use it to find all sorts of other things as well, all sorts of other satellites. Um, you can even find the Hubble Space Telescope on here. It's absolutely got everything that you can see in the sky. So I've clicked on the ISS on the main menu and uh, it comes up with this map of the whole sky. Now the bottom of the map is to the south and the top is to the north and we've got west over here and east over here. So you're kind of reading it upside down really. But it shows you uh, the path of the ISS here. And um, as you can see you might be able to make out these constellations. We've got Orion there. And we can see that the ISS comes in here from the southwest, uh, and it uh, it actually goes right through Orion and almost gets through Betelgeuse there. And we saw that earlier on. It actually went right. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if you saw it, but I saw it. Just right, went right past Betelgeuse there. So that gives us a good idea of uh, where the ISS is going to be. Now I want to have a look at the later map. This later map shows us the next pass, which is going to happen at quarter past nine. And as you can see, the uh, the line is much shorter. And that's because the, the, the sun has gone further down. It's dipped further down below the horizon. And when the ISS comes round, it's actually going to go into the shadow of the Earth. And it's actually going to fade out right above Orion here. You can see that Orion has actually moved across quite a bit by then. 
But yeah, that's going to make a good photograph that. So I'm actually going to photograph that later on. So anyway, check this website out. It's called Heavens Above. And you can find pretty much anything that moves in the sky using this website. Right, okay. So we're now getting ready for the second pass of the ISS, which is going to be much lower. And it's going to pass um, just above Orion from where my position is. And... I want to get quite a nice shot of it, so I'm not going to be able to do it from the garden really because of all the telegraph wires and the street lights and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nip round the corner because there's a field round the corner where I can get a much better and hopefully clearer picture of it with no street lights in the way or anything like that. It'll be a much more pleasing shot and I'll try and talk you through the settings and how I'm going to set the shot up. So I'm going to do that now and I'll try and show you the uh, the process of setting it all up so let's go and do that then right okay so i'm now in my local park or or field should i say it's just a field it's not too far from where i live it's pretty quiet um, i'm surrounded by houses but i've got uh, quite a lot more room and uh, quite a lot more i can see quite a lot more of the sky without any obstacles. Now there are some uh, lights around as well but I'm a lot further away from them than I am in my garden and I can see Orion just over there in a gap in the trees and I'm going to frame a shot with the houses and the trees and, and try and fit as much of the sky in as I can and hopefully we'll get the ISS coming in and fading above Orion. So I'm just going to take you through the uh, shot now that I'm going to set up on the camera. Right, okay, so I've taken a test shot here. Now this was just a test shot, just to see how it was composed, really. Um, so I've got the houses down here at the bottom. I've got, I can see the stars here, I can see Orion up here. And uh, the composition looks okay, I just need to adjust the exposure a little bit. So the picture will probably more likely come out something like this. Now for this shot, so this is 15 seconds, ISO 400, and 24mm lens. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the self-timer and set it to take a series of exposures at 15 seconds when I start to see the ISS. And then that will take all the pictures for me automatically. And by the time it's finished, the ISS will have moved over Orion and then it'll have disappeared. So hopefully, um, hopefully that will work. So, and we're going to have the ISS coming up somewhere over here and it's going to move up this way. So let's see how it go. It's going over now. Yeah, it's going over now. I don't know if you can see it. But my camera's clicking away. It's recording it. And it should fade out somewhere up here. I hope you can see this. It's going. It's above Orion. It's fading. It's fading. It's just about gone now. And it's got a half decent picture there, I think. Better than what I would have got at home, anyway. Right, okay, so I'm back home safe and sound. Um, I hope you like this little video and um, shooting the ISS. Go out and have a look for it uh, if it happens to pass over your sky and uh, see if you can take a picture of it yourself using the same kind of settings that I did. What I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll finish by putting the picture on that I took and I'll also put the settings on as well uh, just so that you can see them on the screen. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next video.